hello we will see the linearity property of dft it states that if x1k is the dft of x1 and capital x2k is a dft of x2n then a x1n plus b x2n its dft is given by a to capital x1k plus b capital x2 we can prove this if Fourier of a x1 n plus b x2 n is same that of the a capital x1 k plus b capital x2 k then we can see that, say that this property is old how we can do this first we need to calculate the a x1 n plus b x2 n and we will calculate the Fourier of this let's say it is x3 then we will calculate a x1 k plus b x2 k and let's say it is x4 and if x3 and x4 are same then we will see the, say that this property has been old let's see the program we are taken x1 we are taken x2 we are written twiddle factors this is w and w1 this w is for calculating fourier transform this w1 is calculating for inverse fourier transform actually we won't need this we can we return the length of the sequence that is 4 in our case we had uh, assumed the values of a and b that is 0.4 we had written x3 as a x1 plus b x2 that is we had multiplied x1 signal x1 by a and signal x2 by b that we had assumed that that we had equated as x3 here we are calculated the fourier transform of x3 that is the capital x3 and here we are calculated the real part of that and we have plotted that let's see how the output looks like okay so output is this uh, let's see what are the exact value of this in the command window so these are the exact values if the other part will also give the same values we will say that the property with is withhold what we did over here is that we are calculated the Fourier of capital X uh, the signal x1 Fourier transform of signal x2 then we had calculated the Fourier of entire signal then we had multiplied the Fourier of x1 signal x1 by a and Fourier of signal x2 by b and we equated to as x4 and here we had plotted it and we here we had displayed the actual value of x4 in command window let's see how the output looks like okay so this is the output it is almost same let's let's check the exact values the values are coming same so the convolution property is 